last Saturday night in Ann Arbor, the Wisconsin Badgers came from behind four times to beat Michigan 6-5 on Christian Fitzgerald's overtime winner and became the first Division I men's team to post 20 wins this season. They also took the season series from the Wolverines. Ranked fourth in the country this week, the Badgers welcome ninth-ranked Minnesota to the Kohl Center this weekend, and they'll try to take the season series from the Gophers, too. I'm Brian Posick, and head coach Mike Hastings joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota RAV4. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Well, Mike, Yost Arena is a tough place to play. You found that out Friday night when the Wolverines 5-1. to one. Uh, But uh, I tell you, on Saturday, your team just kept plugging away, came from behind four times to win that game in overtime. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? You know what? It was a great effort by our group. Uh, we stuck with it. There were a lot of crutches we could have grabbed onto and said, hey, you know what? Tonight's not our night. Uh, but, I, again, I'll, I'll give credit to our leadership group, uh, some of the guys that, you know, maybe haven't been on the score sheet as much as, uh, others really stepped up. I thought Kyle, uh, you know, through the first two periods could have kind of thrown a little bit of a pity party and he didn't mm -hmm. because we left him on an island uh, more than once. Uh, I thought his play throughout the third period gave us an opportunity to get to overtime and then a great play, um, you know, by our, our, our Harry uh, <laughs> Finley, uh, who had an outstanding weekend um, and is continuing to play with a lot of confidence over to Christian Fitzgerald and then Fitzy goes in and finishes. So it was, it was a big comeback for us on, on a, a weekend that's very important. Yeah, Kyle McClellan stopped uh, 10 shots he faced in the third and in overtime. Quinn Finley, a goal in four points. And Christian Fitzgerald, boy, when he skates like he was skating this past weekend, he is really, really good. Yeah, I'm hoping he can take some of that confidence because he'd been a little snake bitten. He had had multiple opportunities over the last couple of weekends to, to finish some pucks. And as a goal scorer, you want somebody to, to be rewarded for their work. And uh, I just thought he came in and acted like a real pro and just kind of set his feet, got himself into a spot and finished and won us a hockey game. Yeah, Mike, you've been doing this a long time. A game like that, a win like that on the road, that can really galvanize a team that already has done so many good things. Well, hopefully we can continue to grow. And I thought we did from Friday to Saturday. I, I know the people that are out there probably look at that score on Friday night and, and say, hey, what happened? Michigan's a really good hockey team. Uh, I thought they took advantage of opportunities. We broke down a little bit. I didn't have an issue with our, our effort, our discipline. Our discipline might have been a little bit in question on Saturday, but I thought the guys cleaned up the mess we made and uh, did a really good job at finishing. Yep. Well, while the Badgers were in Ann Arbor, assistant coach Nick Oliver was back in Madison. He and his wife, Alex, were having a baby girl. Let's take two minutes with Nick Oliver. Well, congratulations to Nick Oliver, the father of Lena Emily Oliver, who was born on Friday, January 26th. So you couldn't come to Ann Arbor to help with the Badgers and the Wolverines. What was your Friday like, Nick? It was a little bit hectic. You know, we, we had a couple of guys that were uh, stayed back from the road trip that um, I had plans to go in and, and get on the ice with them and go, get a little skate in. Uh, those plans changed pretty quickly on Friday morning. Um, so it, it was awesome. Uh, Coach Hastings' wife, Jean Ann, came over and watched our, our two-year-old Thomas for a few hours, and um, we were able to go in and, and obviously a pretty pretty cool experience there on Friday. Yeah, you already have a young boy in Thomas, but now you're a, a girl dad. What's that like? It's been awesome. You know what, it's been uh, 
obviously give a lot of credit to my wife, Alex. Um, she's been great through the whole process. And uh, yeah, it's just been one of those uh, phenomenal experiences to welcome Lena uh, into our lives and into our family. Yeah, you know, I noticed that uh, Lena shares birthdays with Paul Newman, Bob Euchre, Eddie Van Halen, that's pretty good, Wayne Gretzky, and Owen Mellenbacher. That's a heck of a list. I knew uh, I knew Owen because he brought that up to me yesterday. Um, but you did some research on that. I so did, that's, I did. That's good to know. Yeah, and Melly scores a big goal on Saturday against Michigan. Were you watching for or listening from afar while this was all going on? Yeah, that was uh, one of the cool parts is uh, Saturday afternoon. We got home about 5 o'clock, uh, our time here central, and, and the puck dropped at 6. So uh, we had the whole family hunkered in on the couch. and. Uh, we were able to watch the game and fun to obviously see the guys with a heck of an effort to pull that one out. Yeah, for sure. And Thomas, how's how's the big brother handling the little sister right now? He's been awesome. You know what? He's still doing his own thing, uh, bebopping around and having fun with life. Um, but he's starting to show a little more interest in her. But he's been he's been great so far. Yeah, so she's born a Badger. Now you're back with the Badgers and ready for the stretch run, aren't you? Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. Obviously, we have a big test here coming in this weekend, and um, fun to see us take a, take another big step off of last weekend at Michigan. Bananas are only thirty nine cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And thirty nine cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. So, Mike, you go from Michigan to Minnesota at home Friday and Saturday night. The Gophers playing well. They only have four losses in their last 20 games. You swept them up there at Mariucci back in late October. But much like Michigan, Minnesota is looking for a little payback this weekend, I'm sure. Yeah, they're, you know, we because of the time differences as games being played this weekend, had an opportunity uh, live, at least on, on TV, at watching uh, Michigan State and Minnesota play. Minnesota's playing with an awful lot of confidence right now. Uh, Power Play's doing their job. They're not giving up a lot. Close is playing outstanding. You look at Snuggerud and the things that he's doing. Uh, some of their young guys have really taken a step. Uh, they're going to be a tough out as they always are. And as you said, I think they're, they're looking forward to getting back here and trying to make sure that they do some damage at the Kohl Center. For sure. Not many tickets left for the Badgers and Gophers Friday and Saturday night. Both games start at 7 o'clock. Friday night's a whiteout. Saturday is NHL night. Derek Stepan will be back to drop the ceremonial puck. And both games are live on the Badger Sports Network and the Varsity Network app. For Mike Hastings and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.